We are doing cupcakes today. I'm gonna to show you how to put flowers and succulents. And succulents are just kind of another kind of flower. Um, like cactuses or like this little guy right here. They kind of have, succulents have like the thicker leaves on them. They're really popular lately. Make sure you've got some frosting. It doesn't matter what colors you use or if it's colored at all. So there's Mrs. Rose's tool. Look at how much was it? Will you share? It was, you guys, it was a dollar at the Dollar Tree. This is the cake decorating thing with all these little plastic um, oh. choices that you can change. I think a dollar, Dollar Tree. I, I had love it. no idea. So Mrs. Rose got her tools at the Dollar Tree and that's all you really need to get yourself started. And then if you want to buy more and invest in more stuff because you really enjoy it, then you can go out and buy some other stuff. So I would just recommend making a buttercream in whatever recipe that you like. So I made mini cupcakes, but you can use whatever size cupcakes you want. Um, mine are just vanilla, and then in some of them I used my ganache, and I put the ganache in the center, so it's a vanilla cupcake with a chocolate ganache in the center. Another way you can use your ganache. That same recipe from a couple weeks ago. Um, if you have one of these piping bags it's essentially just a triangle plastic bag if you have one of these you'll need one of these um it really helps if because you don't have enough hands sometimes to have a cup handy it doesn't have to be a glass cup it can be plastic cup any sort of jar because it really helps that this plastic bag will sit inside your cup and you'll need your piping tips okay so you'll need these specific tools if you're gonna do these today. I'm gonna use this little star tip and they all have numbers on them. This is a number 34 and it looks like a little star at the end or a little flower. And there are a bunch of them that are all different sizes, all different shapes. You don't have to be picky, especially if you're just beginning today. And this is a 34 and we're gonna try to make like little lilac flowers. These are called drop flowers because you're just gonna drop the frosting on the cupcake, okay? So drop flowers are the most basic kind of flowers, and then I'll show you some other ones. Um, if you don't master them, that's okay. This is gonna be a little tricky today. So I'll just show you how to do them, and then if you wanna give it a try, you're more than welcome to. When you get the triangle bag, you have to cut the end so the frosting comes out, <laughs> okay? And this little guy is called a couplet. Um, what it does is just allow you to switch your tips without having to wash the whole bag. If you don't have this little couplet set, you're gonna put your tip in the bag. If you don't have a triangle bag like this, you can use just a Ziploc bag and go to the corner of a Ziploc bag. So if you don't have the little plastic couplet set, it's just like a like a bolt type thing if, if you're a guy and refer to <laughs> real tools. Um, if you don't have it, just put your tip in the end there and then cut it off. Um, I do have one and I like to use the couplets because then I can switch the piping tip at the end. So what you're going to do is put the plastic couplet in the bag. You're going to squeeze it down to the end and you'll need to cut it um, kind of down here so you can see that the frosting is not going to be interrupted by any of the plastic part. Here's my piping bag so far. I just put the little coupler in the end. And now I'm going to take the other part of it and my piping tip, whatever one you're going to use, and I'm going to put it in here and then they screw together. So this part is what allows you to use the same bag, the same color, whatever you put in here, and just change the tip at the end without having to do a new bag every time. So if you have one of these plastic pieces that screws on like that, awesome. If you don't have it, it still works without it, okay? So this is where your cup comes into play. Okay. So the cup just helps you because you don't have enough hands sometimes. So if you set your bag in your cup like this and you fold it over, you use the cup, just gives you that extra hand to hold it open, okay? Um, now it's open for me. The cup's holding it straight up. Now I have my hands to put the frosting in. We're gonna try and do like a, um, like a lilac. The key is to not overfill the bag because then when you squeeze it, it'll just come up the top. So don't overfill it. 
Okay. So I'm going too fast. I twist the top of my bag so that all the frosting stays down here and you want to squeeze from the top. If you squeeze in the middle, all of this stuff is going to come up and bloop out your bag. <laughs> You're going to be mad at yourself. So twist it down and squeeze from the top and you want to put it right on your cupcake and I'm going to start at the edge and do like a ring around the outside. Put it right on your cupcake, give it a little pressure and bring it up. Give it a little pressure, bring it up. A little pressure, bring it straight up. No twisting, no twirling. There's a little bit of purple in there today, but my purple did not want to cooperate. And then I'm gonna do some in the middle. Looks a little bit like maybe a hydrangea or some lilacs all together there. You can see a little bit of purple mixed in. Not a ton, and you can use whatever colors you want. If you're making cupcakes, if your cupcakes are like really tall, and you're like, well, how come hers are really flat? Bake them at a lower temperature so they bake slower. So if they're, if they're baking at 350, they're gonna bake on the outside first and all that stuff in the middle is gonna make it push up so it'll be cone shaped. If you bake it down at like 325, they bake slower so it doesn't push up the center as much. You could use that same star tip, leave it there, and we're gonna do what's called a rosette where you just swirl it around the cupcake. You're gonna hold it straight up and we're actually gonna start in the center this time and you're just going to squeeze, 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 squeeze until it kind of gives you that little rose effect, like it's closed in in the center. Would be really fun if you had um, chocolate chips or an Oreo because if you think of a sunflower, the center of the sunflower is black. So I've got my leaf tip, my yellow frosting, and I've got chocolate chips here that I'm gonna try. And you're gonna start on the outside, do the outside layer. Um, we're gonna do about two rows of petals and it's just a little squeeze and pull again, squeeze and pull. But now instead of like a star shape, this is the leaf that comes out. I'm holding it so that the mouth is, it's like up and down. Like these are the top lips, these are the bottom lips here. You wanna hold it so it's up and down like this and then it, the frosting comes out the side. Squeeze and pull, squeeze and pull, squeeze and pull, squeeze and pull. And then I'm gonna put a little chocolate chip in the middle, upside down so it's like flat. And just set them down like that. So I've got like a little okay. flower. Um, can you do succulents next? Yep, we are gonna move on with the green and do some succulents. I'm gonna start with one that kind of looks like a cactus. And then I'm gonna move on to some that are more, um, a little more difficult, but there's still that squeeze and pull technique. Just kind of take some time. Here's my bag. I'm gonna twist it from the top. Put my cup to the side. Now, you could have put for these, you could like put a base of green at the bottom. It's dumped in the green. You could put some brown down there and pretend it's dirt. But all you're gonna do is squeeze and pull. Now see how it's coming out and he kind of looks imperfect, like a little cactus. None of them are perfect, but I'm gonna give him a friend right next to it. And then many cactuses have some sort of flower on top when they bloom. This is my cactus. So I'm gonna take the pink that has that drop flower and try to give it a little flower on top. So he looks like he's in blue. Here's where it comes into play where you can keep your green in the bag, but change the tip. So I'm going to change it. Just unscrew this part here. Um, I don't know what this is called. This is a number 80 and it looks like a crescent moon. 
And so this will create a different type of flower petal for us. So I'm gonna put that on my bag and screw this back on. So that is the idea of this plastic couplet here, is to just be able to switch your tips without getting a whole new bag every time. For this one and the next one, the next one is gonna be kind of a rose, but it's gonna be more like a closed rose, so it looks more like a succulent. You need to build in the center a little blob for technical terms. And this time you're gonna start from the inside and go outside. You're gonna hold your bag straight up and down, squeeze and pull. And it gives you this little petal. See how it's curved because of the crescent moon shape? And you're going to do all the way around. You overlap them just a little bit, spin your cupcake, gotta have patience. So there's the inner center. Do another layer around it all the way down and pull them up so they're all about the same height. So this one, I don't know what it's technically called, but it gives you the cool petal effect to make it look a little realistic. This is what's a rose tip, where it's a little wider at the top and skinnier at the bottom. If anybody wants extra credit, you can come do my dishes. So this is that rose tip where it's um, almost a straight line down, but it's a little fatter at the bottom. I'm gonna put that on there. This is exactly where this tool comes in handy. I've used one, two, three, four tips, I think, on this green bag alone, which is wonderful. Again, you're gonna put a little mound in the center and the fat part is gonna go down, okay? So you want the narrow part at the top and you're going to spin it to create that like little rosebud in the center. So, so far you've got a little mound and a little rosebud type in the center. Now you're gonna do kind of an up and down motion. It's an upside down U shape, okay? So when you're doing the petals, you're gonna start here and go up and down, turn it. You're gonna go up and down, turn it. You're gonna go up and down. Turn it, you're just gonna go all the way around and keep turning it. So you can see where the two petals have ended here. I'm gonna start in the middle of one and end in the middle of the other one. And it's slowly <laughs> turning into a rose. <laughs> 